Has Magnetar done it? Is this the OPPO UDP203 replacement everyone has been waiting for? Let's find out. The UDP800 comes in at $1599, so it's definitely not the cheapest option. You can also opt for the region free upgrade, which will set you back another $200. The UDP 800 comes in a nice soft cloth cover, very premium feel. We also get an instruction manual, remote control, and an IEC power cable. Now there is no HDMI cable included, so you will need a high-speed HDMI cable. Just remember that. The build quality of this player is top notch, and it has a very sleek design. On the front, we have the following. A hidden USB port on the left. In the center, we have a disc tray. On the right, we have the eject button, transport controls, and the power button on the far right. The power button has a red LED when the unit is off, and it turns white when the unit is on. That's a nice touch. Let's take a look at the back of the UDP-800. First off, we're starting with the Ethernet port for network playback. Now remember, there are no streaming apps on this device, so make sure you know that. No streaming devices, the ethernet port is strictly for network playback. There are two HDMI outputs. One is the main output with audio and video output, and the other one carries audio only. Next to the HDMI ports, we have a USB 3.0 port for hard drives. We have digital audio output with both coaxial and optical outputs. There's an RS-232 port, and we get analog stereo output in both RCA and XLR. And on the far right is the power port and main power switch. The tray is quiet and sturdy when opening and closing, and the disc spinning noise is super quiet, not noticeable at all. If you're wondering about the remote control, it is fully functional and you have a lot of options at your fingertips. Now this I like a lot considering majority of the remote controls really are very bare bones. Of course, those are $200, $500 players, but there's not a whole lot on here, so it's nice to see something at this price point having a full function remote control. Jumping into the setup menu, this looks just like my old Oppo 203. The only setting I had to change was the audio setting. Make sure that is set to Bitstream to get support for Dolby Atmos and all other immersive audio formats. During playback, you have an options menu where you can change the settings while the disc is running. As far as network playback, this is where the Magnetar shines. That is one of the main things that sets this player apart from all the others on the market. Network playback of MKV, M2TS, ISO files, and BDMV folders. So pretty huge. And we'll get to a few other thoughts in just a minute. According to Magnetar, the USB ports will support an external hard drive of up to 16 terabytes. But if you are going to use through network, there are no limits there. Now, for those of you wondering about Dolby Vision, you will get Dolby Vision support with ISO image files and BDMV folders, both via USB and through the network. Now I know what everybody's going to ask. What about the picture quality? It is gorgeous. I was watching all kinds of new content on the TV from Avatar Way of the Water to Mario, which is fantastic all those colors on my 83 inch oled just pop of course i always go back to one of my favorites testing out you know the white and black levels is lucy and of course it was also you know gorgeous not scarlett johansson i'm talking about the movie that very lots of it's good it's good it's good Anyway, you are not gonna be disappointed with the picture quality. Now, going back to my first thing that I said about OPPO replacement. I know the OPPO people are going to say, no, it's a no-go, it's a no-fly zone over here because of one thing that the OPPO had that pretty much no other Blu-ray player has had, is going to have, I don't know, we'll see. It's the HDMI input. Right, everybody wants that HDMI input. If you have devices that aren't 4K and you wanted to upscale them using the OPPO, that's kind of what it was there for. Also, if you just ran out of HDMI inputs, you could just run your cable box through there and then it'd be the same input on your TV. So, you know, for some people, the HDMI input is useful. A lot of people though, probably, don't care that it's not there, but diehard Oppo fans will say it's not a replacement until that HDMI input is there. So if you are looking for 
a 4K Blu-ray player to play to replace your Oppo. Uh, this does not have an HDMI input, so keep that in mind. Now, as far as everything else, I was able to play SACDs. I have a couple of them here, and I do have one DVD audio disc, and it played that just fine as well. Now, if you're wondering, can the other 4K players out there play these? Uh, the Sony ones will, the Panasonics will not. So, there you have it. And of course, when it comes to file playback over a network, the Panasonics will not. The Sonys, I have the 800M2 um, here, and some files it'll play, but some of them, if they're like super large, they kind of have problems. So, that's just my experience. I don't know if that's gonna be for everyone but that's something to definitely keep in mind. Okay, so now let's get down to the nitty gritty. Who is this for? Now this is kind of a weird one for me because the people that put out the Magnetar or at least the people that distribute the Magnetar are the same people that distributed the Revon 4K Blu-ray player and the Zapiti, you know, media player, network media player. And what's funny about the Magnetar UDP 800 is that it's kind of like both of those devices in one unit. So if you were hoping to get a 4K Blu-ray player in the future and or wanted to start ripping your 4K Blu-rays and have them on a hard drive or on a network attached storage device, well, this Magnetar UDP 800 is kind of like the best of both worlds. When it comes to disc playback, the Magnetar, I, I would say, outperforms the X, 100 and x200 from revon the menu is also much better on the magnetar however they did tell me that the revons would be getting an update so that they'll get the updated menu system as well so that's also nice for the revon owners and as far as network playback and the zapiti well the magnetar plays iso files and loads them much faster than the zapiti so that was definitely something interesting and something, you know, to think about when you're when you're looking at this. Of course, you don't get the, you know, uh, user interface that the Zapiti has with all the, the poster wall and all the movies. This is just like a straight up list and you have to kind of go through the list and then select the movie. Um, whereas, you know, it just looks nicer on the Zapiti. But, hey, if you don't have the Zapiti and wanted to get one, and if you didn't have a 4K Blu-ray player and you wanted to get one, and you had a little bit of money to spend, you don't mind the price, hey, I think the Magnetar UDP 800 is right up your alley. It is a solid choice. I haven't had any problems with any of my discs. Was not able to test HDR10 Plus because I don't have a Samsung TV. I would assume it works, but if that's something important to you, definitely, um, check out another video to see who has actually tested but i don't think you're gonna have any problems if you're looking for a 4k blu-ray player you got some money to spend and you want an awesome network player definitely check out the magnetar udp 800 oh yeah let's not forget big shout out to the folks at magnetar for sending the udp 800 over for me to review thank you guys so much i appreciate it and if you guys have any questions let me know down in the comments below and that's about it so we'll see you in the next one peace